Hello, so uh, we are Curse of the Vampire. Uh, we are a French band uh, specialized in covers and also some songs of our own. We released two, two CDs, two albums, and one demo. Uh, the name of our band, uh, Curse of the Vampire, uh, comes from um, the. Um, Uh, how can I tell? Uh, how can I say? Uh, the name of the band is was uh, is composed composed of uh, two two different uh, words, curse that reminds the name of the Cure, the band the Cure, one of our um, influences, musical influences, and the theme of the vampire, that is a, a theme uh, well known in the Gothic style. And so uh, that was at the time of the, the movie uh, interview with a vampire. And so that was like uh, an homage to, uh, to this kind of music and this kind of movie. Uh, the band, we can say it, uh, it formed itself in, uh, early in uh, 1996. Uh, it was not Georges, the bass player, with me, who I sing and I... I play guitar. Georges uh, is the bass player, but he was not the bass player at that time. In 1996, that was uh, another bass player called Jeremy. And Jeremy uh, played with us once more a few months ago. So uh, we made like a reunion of the band. Uh, what can I say more? Uh, <laughs> yeah, Georges uh, arrived in uh, 2002, so it's been uh, 15 years we are now playing together and uh, we always have some great, great times together when we make shows like this, uh, like we had today with uh, the band Next Step from Italy and specialized themselves in uh, covers of uh, Suzanne de Benches. Yeah, so we released uh, two full albums uh, with compositions of our own. Uh, we like to play them, we try to play them also, even if more people, uh, yeah, here is the second one, so <laughs> fading for a lifetime. And uh, that's true that uh, we try to play our own songs, even if people prefer to uh, hear songs they already know, some cover songs. So we do both, both of them. Uh, now we can talk about our three favorite albums. So uh, do you want to start? Pornography from The Cure. Pornography from The Cure. And two others. For you. No, you first. Yeah. <laughs> so um, maybe I'm gonna be surprising, but uh, I have, yeah, I have a Cure album. That's one of my favorites. I would take on an island if I was all alone. I had, if I had to choose three CDs, I would take uh, Faith from The Cure. I would take, and uh, it's gonna be surprising, but I would take uh, a CD from uh, Bill Idol. Yeah. <laughs> It's called uh, Rebel Yell, and it was one of my favorite albums uh, when I was young. And the last I will take with me is one of my favorite also. It's an album from Duran Duran. It was their first self-titled album, and it, it has a sound. Uh, most of people don't know them at this era, but uh, it really sounds like, uh, like New Wave. And you've got two albums uh, missing. <laughs> <laughs> First and last, and always, from the Sister of Mercy. Yes. And after... <laughs> Fading for a lifetime. <laughs> Curse of the Vampire, of course. Of course. <laughs> of course. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, here it is. Here we are. And we wanted uh, to, to thank uh, Jan Verweike to have... Uh, for our having given us the, the opportunity to, to have a little interview like this. And uh, you can reach us on uh, YouTube, on Facebook also. Yeah. Uh, we have a personal page on Facebook. So uh, with the name Curse of the Vampire, of course. 
and uh, YouTube, uh, we have uh, several songs also with uh, with two video clips. We made uh, two video clips by our own, and uh, so you can watch them on YouTube. So thank you.